Hello, I am Tara from Living on a Dime, and we are talking about the real reason for high grocery prices. You are not going to believe the truth. All right, let's get started. So I was sent a video and then a Facebook page and then looking at stuff for my kitchen renovation, I found another video. And I realized the real reason for um, high grocery prices is people are not shopping for groceries correctly. And you might say, Tara, what do you mean they're not shopping for groceries correctly? So I'm going to go through and, and show you guys. So Mike, put the $50 one up for me real quick. So let's talk about this picture first. Oh, that, okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to walk through and tell you what is wrong with this picture and why she cannot afford grocery prices. So if you ever sent this to me and it said $50 worth of groceries in my small mountain town in the U.S. Now, just for reference, I have lived in three small mountain towns. In the U.S.? In the United States, <laughs> Nez Perce, Idaho, Allens Park, Colorado, and Estes Park, Colorado. I have also lived in rural southeastern Colorado, in Springfield, Colorado, and we have lived in Alta Vista, Kansas. All of these places were rural, did not have grocery stores or very, very small grocery stores. And all of these places I had to go, um, with the exception of Springfield, I had to go 60 to 70 miles to get groceries. All right, so what does that have to do with this, Tara, you might ask? What it has to do with is I have actually lived it. So I know what is actually in these grocery stores and what is happening, okay? Now, let's look at this picture. Okay, she got a gallon of milk. I'll give her a gallon of milk for probably $3. Now, she said it was $50 for all of this. Keep in mind, guys, for the average person who's working and living in rural America, that is probably, let's say you make $12 an hour. That's five to six hours, probably closer to six hours worth of work to pay for those groceries. So you have to keep that in perspective. All right, let's look at this picture again. I'll give her the milk, but look at the stuff that's in here. Bread, sweet potato chips, grapes, margarine, a salad kit, super fancy schmancy hot dogs, and a thing of peanut butter. Now, and I don't know if you can see, but the, <clears throat> the sweet potato chips say gluten-free non-GMO. All right. Yeah. So that- And the, oh, the bread is also, it says cottage white. Okay, so we are assuming this person is not buying gluten-free sweet potato chips because they have bread in their order also. So we're gonna assume that they're not gluten-free and have any dairy restrictions because there's bread in there. Now, maybe she's buying it for her family. I don't know the situation here, but I'm just going to walk through and show you. Now, let's look at this real quick here, or not real quick. First of all, you don't need the potato chips, period. They're probably 6 to $7 at least at her local grocery store. She could have bought a bag of potatoes and just made some potatoes in the crock pot. And she would have gotten, instead of, I don't know, probably three to four meals worth of potato chips, she would have gotten five to eight meals out of a bag of potatoes. Now, the fancy schmancy hot dogs. Are you kidding me? Now, I read through this but post. But it's Andouille. It does not matter. <laughs> it. She said she paid over $9 for these hot dogs. That is absolutely ridiculous. She could have gotten a, a package of hot dogs for $2 to $3 if that's what she was getting. Next, margarine. The tub of margarine cost two times the amount of buying margarine in sticks. So kudos for her getting margarine, but why didn't she get the sticks instead of the soft tub margarine? The salad kit. Seriously, this salad kit had to have been close to eight to $10 probably. And um, she could have gotten a thing of broccoli or uh, baby carrots for 2 to $3, which was a whole lot cheaper, and you would have gotten a whole lot more meals. But also, if you buy, if you don't buy a salad kit, sorry, put this back on, 
<clears throat> if you just if you want a salad, wouldn't it be cheaper to just buy the lettuce? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just just confirming. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. The next thing on the list is peanut butter. Okay. It looks like she maybe got the cheapy peanut butter, so I'll give her that. And then grapes. Those grapes were probably eight or nine dollars also on there. Now, here's if I was in the situation and I lived in the mountains, here's what I would do. First of all, it is your choice to live in the mountains. Now, if you are helping a family member or something like that, yes, you may have to stay there and you don't have a choice. Okay, I'll give you that, but you still have a choice that you're staying and helping that family member. When we were living in the mountains, we knew that we were going to be driving for groceries. Even though there was a grocery store in one of the mountain towns that I lived in, it was super expensive. I only went there and got only their sale stuff. Every other time we'd have to drive down the hill, as we called it, and go grocery shopping. That was a safe way, by the way. Yes. So they must have been, they might have been in our town too. <laughs> the town that we were in at the time. Yeah. So um, so I would get only what they had on sale at my local grocery stores in these rural towns. Now <sighs> She said in her comment on these $50 worth of groceries that it would have cost her a quarter of a tank of gas, a quarter of a tank of gas to drive down the hill to get those groceries. Okay, so what's the problem with this? Even if she's driving a truck, let's say she's driving a truck, which unless you're using it for work, you don't need to be doing that either. But let's say she's driving a truck. That's $30 worth of gas to drive down the hill and back. We'll give her 60 miles. If she's driving a car, that's five gallons of gas. That's $15. When we did it, we went grocery shopping once a month, made a big trip down, watched the sale ads. When they had the biggest sales on meat that particular month, we would make our trip down that month only buy all the groceries we needed for a month and I spent $125 to do it. Now I'll give you inflation and all that, but I guarantee you I could still do it for three to $400 even with today's prices. Well, and even then we were young and of course Tara had the experience already, but everyone in town pretty much told us don't buy stuff in town here because it's way too expensive. It's worth driving down. So even, if we had just been getting information from people at the post office as we we're walking past them at the door, yeah. we would have probably heard that information. All right, show the picture again. So in this picture, what would I have done? First of all, I would have driven down the hill once a month and bought the food. Second of all, no fancy <clears throat> hot dogs. I would have bought some real chicken so people or are, some hot dogs. People are, and a lot of people are noting that they're actually sausage. But even then- It doesn't matter. Sausages are still pretty cheap. A hot dog is a sausage. I'm sorry, a hot dog is a sausage. But even with that, for $9, you could buy 10 pounds worth of chicken for that same price, easily. I even have an ad where right here, look at this. This is the ad I received in today's mail, $1.27 per pound for chicken. So what you're saying is $9 for four sausages is, uh... She could have gotten a, a week's choice. worth of it's chicken. A, it's just a preference. It's not that she can't afford food. It's that she's choosing to have well, the more expensive food. This was on a poverty finance Reddit, whatever wow. it's called, on poverty and finance. Well, I so, love sausages, but it's kind of hoity-toity to pay for expensive Well, sausages. if you're living in poverty and you're having a problem with your finances, you don't need to be buying sausages for $9. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Okay, go back. And I can say that because I had stuff that I really liked that we didn't buy when we had no money. All right, then margarine. I would still get margarine, but I would get the sticks instead of the tub. I would mm. not get the salad. I don't care if you even want a salad. If you cannot afford it, you need to get something like carrot sticks or broccoli. You could get frozen broccoli. For the price she paid for that, she could get a week's worth of vegetables of carrots and broccoli and mixed vegetables for the same price as that salad. The grapes, I would get oranges, which are on sale this time of year. They're, once again, I don't have the ad, but they're 48 cents here on sale right now. The chips, she does not need those chips. Those chips would be gone and it would be a bag of potatoes. 
And then that bread, I don't know, it might be the cheapest bread, I'm not sure, but I would definitely make sure that it is the cheapest bread that you could get, okay? Now, well, and I know you said on the grapes, you mentioned about getting oranges, but did you mention that the reason you would get oranges is because grapes are not in season in yeah. January in the mountain town? <laughs> That's ridiculous. So, if you, so people are used to having everything they want exactly when they want it. And, you know, most people just weren't taught any different. But the thing is, if you buy something that doesn't grow this time of year, uh, virtually anywhere in the United States, then you're going to pay a lot more for it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if I would have gone down the hill and spent the gas money, all of that stuff would have cost me less than $15. And if I would have driven down the hill in my car, it still would have been $30 for just that amount of groceries. But that's why we do our stockpile. That's why I have extra food. That's why when chicken's on sale, I buy a hundred pounds of it so that I can pay 97 cents a pound or $1.27 a pound or $1.40 a pound instead of $3, $4, $5, $9. Those sausages, I think, are 12 ounces. So we're talking close to $14 a pound just for her meat. That is ridiculous, especially if you're living in poverty. Listen, people... Mm, okay, sorry. I'm having a moment here, but guys, things are getting serious. Now, the economy may not tank and that's fine, but let me tell you, everything is pointing to it tanking. You have got to get serious and got to start cutting this stuff out. You cannot keep doing this and expect to weather financial storms eating like this. Okay, we're gonna go to the next one now. <laughs> All right, let me see this picture. Now, as I was looking for kitchen remodel stuff, I, I ran across this YouTube video uh, and please. I took a few screenshots. Yeah, and I was, I was looking at ideas for organizing my kitchen when I get it done. Now, this lady, I didn't watch the whole video. I didn't even listen to what she said. I just watched it on mute. But let me just disclaimer here. This lady that I know of was not complaining about food prices. I don't know if she has debt. I'm not judging her. <laughs> I'm just showing you because this is what normal people do. And this is why normal people can't afford their groceries. Okay. All right. Now, uh, uh, one. that one. All right. Look at this. In the bottom, we have bottled water and bottled chocolate milk. I mean, juice boxes in the top left. Muffin bites. Uh, goldfish, and it looks like maybe those gummy snacks on the bottom. But they're fruit gummy snacks, so they're, they're healthy. <sighs> <laughs> Literally, absolutely none of this is needed at all. Even if your water is so nasty you can't drink it, she should be buying water in the gallon jugs or going to work and getting water like we used to do when our water wasn't drinkable. There's no reason to be having packaged chocolate milk, all of this packaged stuff. Okay, the next one, well, this but, one right well, there. Cause, well, for the chocolate milk, you could you could get a gallon of chocolate milk, yeah. right? And pour it in the, and Well, and chocolate milk's not a necessity anyway. Well, and I but... showed Dave the picture cause I was prepping it for the show and Dave loves goldfish. Well, if we get goldfish, the boys get this giant box thing of it and then they just dole out a little bit at a time yeah right? i'm not giving away the secret am i oh. all right next one <laughs> this was her next drawer so we have pre-packaged chips pre-packaged graham crackers pre-packaged snack fruit bites more goldfish and i don't know what made good is i have no idea what that is some sort of pre-packaged something or another now this is her snack drawer she probably has 30 or $40, probably at least 30, if not $40 worth of snacks in that drawer, 30 to $40. I'm okay if you want to do the chips, but get the big bag that's generic and repackage it yourself. It is literally six to seven times more for the prepackaged items, excuse me, than it is to buy the 
non-packaged items or then to or to even make it at home all right let's see did we have another one on that one uh no you only sent me those three pictures okay all right I so the that's show, fine though. all right <laughs> so on that one none of that stuff needed to even be purchased at all none of it if she doesn't have her debt paid off and is having problems with her grocery bill. Now, like I said, I'm not judging this lady. I'm just using her as an example because this is the way most people who are in hock up to their eyeballs complain about their grocery bill shop. But none of that stuff is necessary. I literally made muffins for Jack and Dave today after school in the toaster oven for 25 cents and not even five minutes worth of work. I'm, and that includes cleanup. It wasn't even five minutes worth of work. So you've got to stop making excuses. Use the recipes from our Dining on a Dime cookbook right here, guys. Volume one. And then we have volume two right here. 25% off. All of these recipes you can make in our Dining on a Dime cookbooks and then our gluten-free, dairy-free, if you're gluten-free, dairy-free, it's 25% off also. But our honey-baked chicken, literally it would cost you about $1.50 if you got chicken for $0.97 cents a pound or $1.27 cents a pound, probably $1.50, yeah, about $1.50 to feed your family of four chicken made at home with literally five minutes worth of work. Okay, now we're gonna go to the video. Let's play this video. I really hope I can get a meal for my family tonight. Oops. Hold on. Oops, it might have echoed. Okay, go ahead and stop it. Gotta have our baby. Okay. Okay, so she said, I only have $15. I really hope I can make a meal for my family tonight. Okay, so we're going to walk through this and see what she purchases with her uh, $15. All right, it looks like, okay, stop. Every meal. So it looked like before she got a main dish, it looks like maybe it was pre-made lasagna or something. I couldn't quite tell what her, what her main dish was. No, you can't tell in the video. Then her vegetables. Okay, I'll give her her vegetables. Well, no, she says here, and, you need potatoes. In there. I know, but she had her potato. She had her vegetables. So now she's getting her potatoes. And I think those were three or four dollars. Okay, go to the next one. And I I then she said, Amazing. Okay, so now she's grabbing a chocolate cake. She said, Amazing. <laughs> which is only probably one dinner's worth of chocolate cake for her entire family. Okay, now keep going. Let's head to the checkout. said 1237 i even have change left okay now yes cynthia sent this to me thank you cynthia for sending this i just about spit my tea out <laughs> okay she spent 12 dollars and she got all of this food now the potatoes may have been more than one meal's worth of potatoes i'll give her that but everything else was one meal's worth of food i could have easily done this for three or four meals for $15. Now, what would I have done differently? I would have gotten my chicken once again for 97 cents. I mean, you can get it for the same Walmart she's working at, you can get it for 59 cents a pound for chicken leg quarters. So I would have gone and bought the chicken leg quarters for $5.60 for a huge bag, uh, a 10 pound bag of chicken quarters. That would have gotten you at least three to four meals. Then the vegetables, I'll give her the vegetables. She could have gotten three or four vegetables for around five, $6. I would have bought a bag of potatoes. And then for the cake, I would have bought, even if you don't want to make cookies, I'll give you that, that's fine. But I would have gotten 
two packages of, you know, chocolate chip cookies or whatever of the Walmart variety, that would have lasted you an entire week if you only served two to three cookies per person per day. For the same $15, you could have gotten at least three to five or six meals, kind of depending on how many people you have in your family, but you could have gotten at least three to, to six meals out of that same $15. And this is once again, why we rotate our pantry. I fill my freezer up with the 56 cents a pound chicken. And then I just pull out a couple of pieces as I need it, put it in the oven, or throw it in the crock pot with my um, potatoes. Just guys, literally this takes five minutes to make these dinners. Just wash your potatoes, put them in the crock pot, put your chicken in the crock pot, sprinkle it with some seasoning, turn it on, and literally it's five minutes worth of work. It really is. Now, all right. You'll be proud of it. There are a bunch of people that said like Denise Mama 4, <clears throat> Uh, no, actually, well, she said something good too, but um, who was it that said it? Uh, Stephanie Joe said, $15, that's four meals. At least. <laughs> I mean, I could I could do four meals, but I'm giving everybody the benefit of the doubt because I know prices aren't the same. But I find it absolutely hilarious. I am not exaggerating. This week, I would get an email well, I don't know where you're living, but there's no way I get those prices where I'm at. The next one, and as a matter of fact, I just got one today. Let me see if I can find it here real quick. I wasn't gonna, I was actually gonna do a, a, a video on this. Um, let's see. Oh shoot, if I can find it here. Um, crud. Well, I can't, I can't find it at the moment, but she said something to the effect of, thank you so much. I just discovered your channel in December and I saved $260 on my grocery bill just this month. I get comment after comment after comment. Guys, these ideas work no matter where you're at. We sent out an article about, um, was it the $7 dinners? I can't remember. It was $7 dinners or something like that. And this lady emailed me back and said, well, where can you find eggs for a dollar a dozen in this day and age? I want to know when this article was written. I wrote back and I said, you don't. And I left it at that. I, uh, these people, Actually, here's. You don't know that you wrote in there <clears throat> a little blurb that said, you might not be able to get eggs for this price at the moment. <laughs> so. So, so even when we put an explanation in. <laughs> here's the thing. Instead of thinking, oh, I can get chicken for a dollar twenty-seven a pound, that maybe I should be eating more chicken as my protein and cut back on the number of eggs. She just wanted to complain about the price of eggs. You have got to wake up. Stop whining about the price of groceries. Start cooking like your mom and your grandma did. Take the five minutes before work. This is why you are poor. You're not taking the time to learn the skills that you need to learn on how to care for you and your family. And it frustrates me to no end we'll get working moms that'll say, you're so lucky to stay at home. No, I'm not lucky to stay at home. I am not driving the new car. I am not buying the juice boxes. I am not buying the fruit snacks. I am not buying all of the prepackaged chips. I am not buying the pre-cut up fruits and vegetables. I am spending the five to 10 minutes to cook dinner for my family at home instead of going out to eat. Now, I will give that Walmart video credit, $15 for that stuff at least is better than spending 40 or $50 eating out. I'll give them credit for that. I'd rather have you do that than going out to eat. 
But if you're really serious about getting out of debt, paying off your debt and weathering the economic storm that is coming, you have got to get serious about your spending. And you need to have a wake up call for your spending.